Food is a fundamental part of our human health that we often take for granted. The landscape of our food not only affects us as an individual, but affects us on a societal level. Our food choices affect our environment, our health, and how we relate to the world around us. Understanding the components of our food is crucial in understanding how to promote health and prevent disease. There's been a large array of research done on tomatoes and the health benefits associated with them. Filled with natural carbohydrates and fiber, tomatoes are a great way to maintain a healthier, balanced diet. Rich in vitamins C and A, regular consumption promotes immune health and vision. Vitamin E is another antioxidant present that plays a crucial role in cell communication. Potassium and iron help transport oxygen in the blood and stabilize blood pressure, while vitamin K also promotes heart health. Tomatoes are also rich in phytonutrients such as lycopene, a carotenoid shown to be cardioprotective, prevent prostate cancer, and act as an antioxidant. Not only what you're eating, but also where it's grown, has an effect on the potential health benefits of the plant. The average tomato can travel up to 1,400 miles from farm to table, but with recent local farming and sustainability initiatives across the country and here at Emory, your tomatoes are coming from closer than you think. In recent years, the demand for locally produced foods has risen continuously here at Emory, indicating a trend seen across the country. The number of farmers markets has increased and even large grocery store chains have begun to implement the label locally grown as a marketing tool. Not only does buying locally contribute to the local economy, it also offers other benefits. Locally grown tomatoes travel a shorter distance and as a result can be allowed to vine ripen. This natural maturation allows for the development of a fuller flavor composition profile. The shorter travel time also reduces carbon dioxide emissions and promotes energy conservation. This tomato traveled over 1,300 miles just to get here. When it was picked, it was green and ripened artificially, just like this one. And even before that, there are many factors that influence the growth and therefore the chemical composition of the plant. Did you know that all plants, from parsley to tomatoes, produce secondary metabolites as a defense mechanism? Because they can't run away from potential predators, they produce natural compounds. These are known as phytonutrients, and they're responsible for most health benefits of plants. Guys, remember, that when plants are sprayed with pesticides and other artificial chemicals, they no longer need these secondary metabolites to protect them. Because of that, it leads to a decrease in flavor and also a decrease in health benefits. Allelo chemicals have a variety of health benefits, but these are altered during industrial processing. The average American consumes 17.9 pounds of fresh tomatoes every year. But they consume 68.7 pounds of processed tomato products. Not only do processed tomato products have altered chemistry, but they also contain additives for color, flavor, and increased shelf life. It's important to recognize that when you're eating tomato products, you're not just eating tomatoes. Tomatoes are very acidic, and this extracts bisphenol A, a carcinogen, during the extended shelf life. BPA is present in metal cans like this one, so by jarring your own tomatoes, you can avoid this health risk. First cultivated by the Aztecs around 700 BC, tomatoes were not regularly consumed until the early 1800s. Solanum lycopersicum is in the plant family Solanaceae, along with bell peppers, potatoes, and eggplants. Many assume the plant was poisonous because of other members of the family, including tobacco and deadly nightshade. Interest in the health benefit of tomatoes originated due to studies showing low rates of cardiovascular disease and cancer in regions with high cultural tomato consumption. The integral role tomatoes play in the Mediterranean diet led to further research on the chemistry of tomatoes. Research showed that tomatoes were rich in antioxidant carotenoids. The one that has been most heavily researched is lycopene. Further research has been done on different preparation techniques and the bioavailability of this compound. In other words, does the way you ingest tomatoes affect the health benefits you can receive? Upon consumption, a tomato goes through a large amount of chemical changes as it travels through the digestive system. The majority of the absorption of nutrients occurs into the bloodstream via the small intestines microtubules. The chemical makeup of the food determines which compounds and how much of them pass into the bloodstream. Research shows lycopene and other carotenoids like phytin and phytofluene have increased absorption when prepared with unsaturated oil. But, studies show only olive oil holds additive antioxidant properties. The consumption of pure lycopene pills doesn't even have this level of absorption antioxidant activity. Specifically, it is hypothesized that antioxidant carotenoids in tomatoes are freed from membranes when prepared and eventually brought into enterocytes through scavenger receptor beta type 1 cells that are assisted by the fatty acids in unsaturated oils. This highlights the importance of cuisine and traditional food knowledge in achieving potential health benefits from food. 
Olive oil and tomato preparation is a cultural practice in the southern Mediterranean. Our ancestors may not have had an understanding of biochemistry or medical diagnostics, but they did evolve traditions that have kept mankind alive for thousands of years. Food affects us on a microscopic level, influences the expression of our genes, impacts all systems in our body, and can recapture and maintain health. It's my body. It's my health. It's my future.